Just days before strict regulations take effect across the state, we spotted water being wasted at a park across the street from Inglewood City Hall. CBS 2's Amy Johnson shows us what happened when we brought the issue to the city's attention. Gravilla Art Park is a one and a half acre green space across the street from Inglewood City Hall and home to the History of Transportation mural. I like it. It's small, but I think it uh, fits the neighborhood and it's nice green space here. But Tuesday night, one of our news photographers found this at the park. Excessive water waste, water flowing down the sidewalk and into the street. We called the city and immediately the city manager and the park supervisor came to see the video we captured of the water runoff. We depend on the public, you know, residents, visitors, business people to let us know whenever there's a, either a, an irrigation line break or in this case where the um, timer is off and water is running too long. Immediately, crews began to fix the problems. We found out that we are missing two inserts that we are going to get uh, fixed right now. We're going to place them. More than 12 hours after those sprinklers were running, there are still puddles in the street nearby. We're really um, strong proponents of water conservation and we'll continue to do our part to make sure that incidents like this don't happen in the future. This is pretty immediate. It's not just because it's the media that has called you on this. You, you would take the same action if it were anybody? Right. This is our normal policy. We, as soon as we hear about a leak, we get out there and do, do our job to fix it. We were told the sprinkler timers are also being scaled back with the new state water restrictions, down from 15 minutes to 10 minutes three times a week. The good thing about it is that we use recycled water in most of our parks, and so this is recycled water. Um, that you're seeing in these videos. The city also has a 24-hour hotline to report water waste and tips on their website to help conserve water. In Inglewood, Amy Johnson, CBS2 News.